A local advocacy group says Virginia's economic growth may depend on whether the Commonwealth moves forward with the variety of highway and rail projects. Today, the group released a report ranking the 50 projects it says are necessary to create jobs and sustain Virginia's economy. The Road Information Program, also known as TRIP, surveyed VDOT and local transportation officials ranking highway projects by their anticipated impact on safety, job creation, and long-term economic benefits. For every $1 billion spent on construction, roughly 28,000 jobs are created. The number one project in the report is the widening of I-95 between Richmond and Washington, D.C. The $2.4 billion project would add two to four lanes of traffic to some sections of the highway, and in the short term, experts say it would create jobs, but in the long run, it would also create economic stability for the region. A more reliable workforce, it allows people to live in various regions of the state and able to get to where the work is. Other Northern Virginia projects listed in the report include the proposed construction of controversial hot lanes along I-95 and I-395, extending Metrorail to Dulles Airport, and the proposed wide of I-66 in Prince William County, Fairfax, and Vienna. One day it's going to take you 45 minutes and the next day it takes you two hours. That's the kind of frustrating uh, congestion that our workforce is dealing with. So how does Virginia pay for all this? Several Democrats are calling for a dedicated source of transportation funding, $1 billion a year over the next 25 years, generated by bonds, tolls, and a higher gas tax. We have cars and trucks coming from all parts of the country, and they need to pay their fair share. Governor Bob McDonald is on record opposing an increase in the gas tax, but his spokesperson says he's looking at other programs and innovative partnerships with the private sector to create long-term transportation funding. In Springfield, Mike Kinnean, TBD News.